Hello, and welcome to my channel. I don't own any of the Hey Kaiyuu characters or music or anything other than the plot. This doesn't in any way describe how the Hey Kaiyuu characters act. It is just for fun, so don't take any of this seriously. All of this is happening IRL unless said otherwise. Enjoy. March 19, 2023, around 2 a.m. Past me. I hate you. I want my bed. Kuro drags himself to reach his door. He glances at the door facing him, before sighing and entering his apartment. He drags his feet toward the couch and collapses on it. I saw his message earlier but didn't have time to reply. Kuro picks up his phone from his pocket and enters Iwaizumi's chat room. Yesterday, at 4.23 p.m. Hey, what time do you get home today? Yesterday, at 5.34 p.m. I will be home around 6. Will you be there so I can make you dinner? Kuro sighs before he sits up. I didn't even eat the lunch he packed. Kuro gets from the couch and takes the lunch box from his bag. He transfers it to another container before putting it in the microwave. He picks up his fruit box before beginning to eat as he opens the chat again. Yesterday, at 8.45 p.m. I guess you are still busy. What time do you have to leave tomorrow? Is it fine if I drop off breakfast at 7? I have to leave early. Kuro takes the plate of rice and fish from the microwave before sitting on the floor near the coffee table and replying to Iwaizumi. Today, at 2.45 a.m. Hey, I just got home cold sweat smile. I am eating your lunch box now open mouth smile. I didn't have time to eat today. Thanks for the meal. Don't worry about breakfast. I have to leave in two hours. And don't worry about tomorrow's dinner. I won't make it home before 6 in the morning. Kuro shuts his phone as he gets up and washes the dishes. He dried them off before putting them back in the bag Iwaizumi brought. He enters the bathroom before he strips and runs warm water before getting under it. He stays frozen in his place allowing the warm water to relax his exhausted and tense muscles before grabbing his shampoo bottle and washing his hair. Fuck. I wanted to buy groceries and put them in the container for Iwaizumi. But I didn't have any time to escape for an hour today. I mean yesterday. Ah. Uh, today is no different. Oikawa's schedule is fully packed, and while he is filming I have three meetings for upcoming events. I also have to plan the trip to Thailand for the joint series too. After that Oikawa can rest for few hours while I submit more audition applications. Then he had a modeling photo shoot. And at late night filming for the movie. Usually, Oikawa allows me to leave once he gets there. But yesterday I wasn't able to escape. I hope I can today though cause they won't finish filming before sunrise. That man if I get stuck there I won't make it home before 8. Kuro rinses his body with soap before drying himself and getting dressed. Kuro picks up his phone and sighs. It's already 4. Guess time to leave. Kuro picks up the bag containing the food boxes and the bag that had Iwaizumi's clothes. I keep forgetting to return these. Kuro leaves his apartment and hangs the two bags on Iwaizumi's door before going downstairs. He walks toward the convenience store and buys few cans of coffee and food before getting to the park and heading back to work. The next two months will be as hectic, but I hope I can get some sleep at least. Kuro sighs as he starts his car and drives to pick up Oikawa. Dot, dot, dot. March 20th, 2023, around 1 p.m. Thank you for dropping me off. You're so very welcome. I am sorry. Huh. What for? You haven't slept for like 50 hours. Who needs sleep anyway? Wanna stay over and sleep a bit before going back to your place? Nah. I don't wanna. We don't have anything until tomorrow afternoon. I just wanna get home and be lazy. If I sleep here then I will have to go back home later. Go home and enjoy sleep as much as I will enjoy mine. Um. Kuro hums an answer as Oikawa gets out of the car. He starts the engine and heads to his apartment. He enters the building and waits for the elevator to reach the first floor. Kuro. Oh. Hi. Kuro nods at him as Iwaizumi stands. A bit far. You're early today. I was just grabbing something I forgot. What about you? Oikawa's event got cancelled, so I'm done with work for today. Is your schedule always all over the place? Yeah. I am used to it. I will make you dinner tonight. Don't bother. I will. Honestly. Don't. I will probably be asleep. I haven't slept in like two days. I doubt I will wake up before tomorrow morning. Then I'll text you. If you are awake, I will make you food. If not, I will make breakfast. I why. Don't fight it. All right. 
Thanks. The elevator dings and the door opens. Kuro enters it as Iwaizumi stays in his place. Kuro holds the door as he frowns. Aren't you getting on? Nah. I will use the stairs. Iwaizumi. Yeah. I am fine if you get on. Are you sure? Kuro nods as he gulps before Iwaizumi steps on the elevator as Kuro steps back. Iwaizumi presses their floor number and they stay silent until reaching it. Once they get off Iwaizumi glances at Kuro who was walking slowly behind him. Kuro. Yeah. I am sorry. For what? Hurting you. Iwaizumi says as he turns around, making Kuro freeze in his spot. Don't panic. I won't come closer. Actually. I should apologize. Huh. Why? I am very aware that you regret what you did when you were drunk. And I know that you will never hurt me on purpose or repeat what you did. But I am still scared. We already talked about this. You can't control. Iwaizumi. Yes. Can you hug me? Huh. Like mentally I am fine with you around, but physically I am not. So. Maybe if we get closer. That might help. Iwaizumi lets out a loud sigh as he shakes his head. That will be too much. I am saying it's fine. You might be okay consciously but not subconsciously. That's why you are still afraid. We just have to wait. I don't want. Why? Cause it's getting annoying. I am having a panic attack alone now. Even if you aren't around. That proves more that it's a bad idea. How about? Whenever you are free in the mornings, we eat breakfast on the rooftop. Kuro nods before they continue walking toward their apartments. Dot. 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 March 21st, 2023, around 5 a.m. Kuro turns on the sofa as he grabs the phone and presses the home button as he sits up. Oh. New series. Kuro says as he yawns while reading through the email he received from one of the production companies. Kuro reads through the new series he received before forwarding two series auditions to Oikawa. He stands up and stretches his body as he walks toward the bathroom. He runs warm water into the tub and begins to wash his teeth. When the bathtub is filled he sits in it allowing the warm water to soak him as he enters the chat room between him and Iwaizumi. Yesterday. At 8 p.m. Hey. Are you still asleep? Yesterday. At 11 p.m. I guess you are exhausted. Text me when you wake up. I have to leave at 8. So if we are eating breakfast together, it needs to be around 7. I can cook something simple so don't feel bothered if you wake up after 7. Just tell me when you wake up. Kuro smiles as he reads through Iwaizumi's messages before replying. Today, at 6 a.m. Good morning, Iwaizumi. I will be on the rooftop by 7. See you in few. Kuro hops to the chat room between him and Kenma as he chuckles. Yesterday, at 8 p.m. Kuro, are you still alive? It's been a week since I heard from you. Please don't be dead yet. I am not in the mood to attend a funeral. Today, at 6.10 a.m. WTF. Kenma Ro I am still too young to die. I'm free until 2 today. I will drop by 10 or so. Ah. Ghost. Fuck off. See you soon. Kuro chuckles as he turns off his phone and rubs his nose bridge. Did this kid even sleep? I didn't expect an immediate reply. Kuro stares into space for a couple of minutes before he stands up once he feels the water getting too cold. He drains the water before starting to wash his body. I should overcome this fear soon, and more importantly my feelings for him. Once Iwaizumi stops feeling guilty we can go back to being neighbors. So, we don't have to meet as much. He can go back to his bed bodies as I overcome and forget these feelings entirely. Kuro dries himself before getting dressed and heading to the roof. He texts Iwaizumi that he is already on the roof before putting his phone in his pocket and leaning against the fence as he watches the blue sky. A couple of minutes pass, before Kuro hears the door opening, making him glance and smile at Iwaizumi. Morning. Hey. Sorry for making you wait. Oh. No need to apologize. I was enjoying the sun's heat. Kuro says with a smile as he walks toward Iwaizumi who has placed the food on the table under the wooden shades. Oh. That's too much food. Not really. Come on. You could have just made eggs and rice. But I didn't feel like eating that alone. Iwaizumi says with a raised eyebrow making Kuro sigh. Fine. Fine. They start eating silently as Kuro glances a couple of times at Iwaizumi. Thought balloon shouldn't we be trying to get closer. Thought balloon eating silently won't do that. Kuro shifts his gaze when Iwaizumi catches him staring at him. He presses his lips together as his face heats up.
Are you all right? Kuro nods, still looking at his food. Thought balloon have I ever said how much I hate myself. Why are you red? Thought balloon I hate Iwaizumi too. Kuro. Iwaizumi says as he bends his head down a bit trying to meet Kuro's eyes, making Kuro lift his head to meet Iwaizumi's eyes as Iwaizumi lifts an eyebrow. And nothing. Did I make you feel uncomfortable? No. That's not it. Just ignore it. Ignore what? My wired reaction. I won't call it wired though. It is. Cute fit it more. Kuro's blood reaches his ears as his eyes widen. No, it's not. And don't call a grown ass man cute. But it is. And I don't know why I shouldn't. Your reaction is adorable. Ay. Iwaizumi, can we switch the topic? Not as long as you are blushing like this. I can't control my blush so stop teasing me. Iwaizumi watches Kuro for a few seconds as the latter starts eating with a small pout. Nah. I can't. You are too cute. Am not. You are. Am not. And didn't we agree to come here so I will get over my fear? Why are you flirting? Do you feel scared of me? Iwaizumi's voice suddenly gets serious, making Kuro lock eyes with him. And no. Iwaizumi smiles before taking a bite of his food. Then that means we are doing the right thing. You aren't scared and you are comfortable, right? Kuro presses his lips together before nodding and continuing to eat. After they finish eating, Iwaizumi packs all the containers as Kuro whines. Seriously, Iwaizumi, allow me to clean them. For the twentieth time no. But, no, I won't allow you. So, stop asking. But, Kuro, that's too much. You are paying for the ingredients and cooking, at least let me do something. When I start complaining that I don't want to do this, intervene but now just allow me. Ugh, fine. Iwaizumi carries the bags as they head downstairs. Can we have breakfast tomorrow too? I guess. For now, I am free tomorrow morning. But something might pop up. Um, what about lunch and dinner? I will probably have lunch with a friend before heading to work. And since Oikawa has filming today, I don't know when we will finish. It will depend on the takes. Then I will see you tomorrow for breakfast. Yeah. D Iwaizumi. Yes. Do you get disturbed when I bring Oikawa up? Not really. I know you are his manager and your schedule is tied to his so it can't be helped. Um, I just wanted to make sure. Don't worry about it. See you tomorrow. Kuro nods as he enters his apartment before sliding down against the entrance door. The hell was this? This felt like a fucking date, man. And seriously, Tetsuro, you blushed. Even my blood vessels are against me. Kuro covers his face as his hands dive into his hair. I am supposed to get closer to him to stop being scared. And not for my feelings to get stronger. Ah. Kuro screams before standing up and leaving the house. I know I told Kenem I will meet him at 10. But I have to tell someone about this before I explode. Dot. 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 Kuro arrives at Kenma's house around 9. He texts Kenma that he is there before entering the house with his keys. Kenma's head pops out from his streaming room with a frown. Why so early? Cause I might explode soon. What happened? I. Wait hold on. Let me shut the stream first then we talk. Kuro walks toward the backyard before sitting on the swing, a couple of minutes later Kenma sits near him with both legs crossed under him as he leans in the swing back watching Kuro. Was it alright to leave the stream? Yeah, I was doing a 12 hour stream. I was planning to stop in like 20 minutes or so. So you haven't slept yet? Nope. I will sleep later. I. No. Now tell me, what happened? No. What? I didn't even finish my sentence. You'd probably say something like go sleep, we can talk later. You should. Should probably. Will I do it? Obviously not. You know very well that if you leave I will jump on my game. So, just tell me what is frustrating the Tetsuro Kuro. Kuro sighs as he nods before looking at Kenma. Do you remember the guy the first told you about a few months ago, when I came here I panicked? Yeah, the guy the first wanna castrate. Yeah, I remember him. What did he do this time? Well, Kuro, yeah, do you still remember that you are one of the people who can access my bank accounts, right? Yes, Kuro says slowly as he stares at Kenma. Why are you asking this out of nowhere? Well, use my money to bail me out. And don't tell Shoyo. Kuro sighs and grabs Kenma's arm when he jumps to his feet. It's not like that. Stop protecting that bastard. Do you even know who that guy is? Iwaizumi. How? I never. 
Kenma just stares into Kuro's eyes until Kuro nods. But honestly, it's not what you think. He didn't harm me, quite the opposite. Kenma sighs as he flops on the swing again. What then? I like him. Ha, huh? nah. I don't need bail money because I ended Iwaizumi but rather because I will end you. What the actual fuck, Kuro? I know. I am frustrated with myself too. How did this even happen? He wanted to apologize. Okay. I didn't accept his apology nor did I say I forgive him. Good end. He said that he will make it up to me. And wanted to thank me for not reporting him. Kenma sighs as he nods. Then you started chatting. Getting closer. And your heart was like. Yes. Him. Kinda. I don't wanna say I forgave him when I didn't just to keep a distance. That won't work anyway. If you are close now and suddenly start to ghost him after saying you forgave him, he will know that you didn't and you just want to keep a distance. He'll definitely allow it, but will probably try to get closer again, until you forgive him properly. What should I do then? I don't want to have feelings for him. And the more I spend time with him the more my feelings develop. Just allow me to F him off, it will solve everything. Kenma. Fine. Fine. No murder. You can't come up with something too, right? Kuru. Um. What about him? What do you mean? Does he? No. D I don't know. I feel he is only doing this as an apology. And isn't thinking beyond that. I honestly don't like him, but is it possible to date him? No. Why? Cause he is Oikawa's ex. And. I can't date his ex, it feels like betraying him. Why? Cause Oikawa is a very close friend and after all these years for me to date someone he actually is scared of and has a history with. Scared off. I don't know why or what happened. But Oikawa is scared of Iwaizumi. Alright. That means that you definitely should not date him. He. Doesn't seem like a great guy. Uh. What time do you finish today? Probably midnight or later. Alright. Let's go party. Are you sick? The word part sounds illegal coming from your mouth. I don't like it, and never will. But you need to meet new men. Maybe someone might help you overcome your Iwaizumi brain fog. But isn't that just using someone? Who cares? I am really worried about your moral compass, Kenma. Ugh. Ah, listen, you might not even like Iwaizumi. I know how I feel. I don't doubt that but you might be confused. You haven't dated anyone in a while. And he is showing you attention. That's why you are feeling like that. Just meet new people and see how things go from there. If you still like Iwaizumi, we will figure out stuff afterward. Alright. Kuro hums a response before sighing. Now let's order something cause I am starving. Sure. Thank you guys for watching I hope you had fun. What do you think of the story so far? Don't forget to comment them. I love reading all your opinions of the fanfic.